Hello everyone, we will talk today Mobix state pattern in Flutter and we know that uh, we will know uh, what we advances for your project. Uh, okay, let's uh, talk about what is Mobix and what your provides application. Uh, Mobix pattern uh, just only in uh, use Flutter, Mobix pattern maybe Mobix pattern global global uh, state management patterns most most used in uh, web application web uh, development community so but uh, flutter have this option and uh, Mobix provides your uh, provide your state management process easy to use your application okay uh, Mobix have a, a lot of documentation uh, in uh, in, ta in uh, website uh, or and have a official documentation mobix.com mobix yes or it's same like it's like uh, flutter it's not uh, not have a big different uh, usage scenario but uh, you you read if you want to more detail what to what is Mobix you can read them read this documentation okay Mobi we come back we return the Mobix site and looking uh, this site uh, Mobix have a, a, a um, actually three points and observable competent and uh, ob observer object, a competent object, variables, and observer widget. What is uh, what they mean? Uh, if you you have a uh, must you have a must be Mobix uh, class, and maybe you need to change loading state if your uh, when your application when your uh, state. Uh, when you send the request on uh, internet and fetch data, so you want to fetch data, and uh, you can change the loading bar. Yeah, you know you you want to you need that observable property, observable variable maybe is is loading and uh, Mobi is and you are right you write you write uh, observable uh, annotation and uh, going to uh, widget sites just a wrap observable widget and is related for this uh, tool or property and if you are chain if you are variable here has changed it, you are widget notified this uh, new state or uh, will what will they what will uh, it's come and uh, we have changed in this layer okay uh, like your application, like is this, it is, and you have a app bar, yeah, no, uh, most people, most usage app bar, and uh, you know, fetch, you, you want to fetch internet and take, take data, so maybe a JSON placeholder, okay, you want to check, we want to fetch this data, JSON placeholder at to do website okay and you going to uh, you want to just uh, first uh, screen draw loading state okay yeah loading bar and your request is has done when uh, your loading bar has changed and show list view when your request is complete uh, completed and its state has done done my paint is bad i'm sorry and screen has show your list view just little uh, but this little state the little uh, business scenario but all of them all every uh, mobix layer like this and you know if you know this uh, scenario you maybe uh, i think you will uh, write your complex business or any business on your project okay we're looking uh, pop dev and mobic start and is telling your work how is work 
and observe properties you have action you have action and maybe change loading bar and uh, notify observable properties and yeah observable notify and reactions side effects side effects is mean your loading bar has changed or invisible state uh, going to invisible okay uh, what we have mobix yeah okay you know that uh, you see that observable option and value and you have an action uh, your action has calling any button or any other state your value will be change new state and you if you write widget observable widget if you have observable widget your widget notify uh, change with uh, new data okay it's very easy and always usable always using this uh, rules with these rules i love mobix because uh, mobix have code gen options and uh, this code gen generate your uh, mobix uh, process you can just uh, call mobix uh, observable ob uh, annotation and your need builder build watch uh, build runner and uh, your change if you change anything your v model or mobix class mobix scan has work and uh, complete new complete new items in uh, this class like maybe this counter if you if you change value uh, uh, equal increment to uh, site per two uh, and you can save and boot runner has boot runner wider working and change your state uh, with uh, boot runner options and mobile code gen okay uh, let's let's do it in a scenario and we learn how to use on project okay let's go uh, i wa i want to do, uh, we have a uh, service options and i love dio package we use the, we will use dio and uh, co control network layer and in this point uh, important because i have a uh, vexana package and this vexana work uh, network wrapper library with dio uh, and you can uh, you would like uh, network process network request and you will you will use generic uh, you can you uh, return uh, generic responsive response options on project like this uh, you just call fetch or now safety needs uh, sent and you can write uh, what will the parse parse option parse model and what you want return uh, and network manager that data return your uh, your generic response option and you will return your application uh, layer or widgets layer okay we will talk another video this i will telling uh, i will tell this vexana project okay not now not here okay go let's go right uh, mobix project and i'm going to see the desktop see the flutter no no flutter yes development flutter create mobix um, with mobix pattern mobix um, with mobix safety now safety okay okay create mobix now safety project and see the mobix now safety you know that uh, now safety is stable is uh, is ready to use uh, your project but you uh, you write first project uh, create you create first project you just call this code and your project will be support uh, now safety now okay is payer this layer you know I don't have a, any business code or any package. It's not problem. First step. 
but you have another you have uh, you you want to add new package or uh, another library or local library you must be need uh, now not safety options and write not safety version in project okay call cut that okay and we very out wait wait zoom in okay change my keyboard option zoom in zoom in zoom in yeah nice okay you know you see that web option test uh, and ios android flutter uh, support all, all platform with stable uh, and we add just here we will add going to pop dev okay i need lights on my screen one minute okay and pop dev no it's why wait 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 yeah okay and uh, pop dev and going to copy this code but you you don't forget your project uh, will be create not safety options and uh, you need to call you need to write a uh, not safety version so just doesn't write this version version uh, and you see that in pub dev not safety version in your for your project okay ah no wrong Oh, no, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, now uh, where is this? Yeah, Mobix. Okay, now safety. And where other Mobix uh, needs, Flutter Mobix library, you provide observ observable widget and this widget. Uh, yeah, observable widget and you notify your observable variables this widget and you call you just write observable and your widgets notify all changes for a uh, v model or uh, model layer for model layer yeah flutter mobix you you don't forget at now safety property yeah copy okay done and we need that mobix code gen mobix code gen uh, i remember that doesn't support no safety but uh, yeah it doesn't support now uh, okay mobix code gen i have not and you call that this uh, sorry Actually, uh, Mobix Codian have no safety support, but uh, Mobix uh, this team uh, doesn't upgrade no safety version because Mobix Codian uh, have no safety options in this branch. I I uh, follow this uh, improvement or uh, updates Mobix start, and so I need. And uh, not safety options, and I see I will. I saw uh, I searched this not safety options in uh, Mobix Start repository, and I see that support and support Mobix Codian. And but you know, and uh, doesn't have a new version, maybe uh, will uh, this team maybe to will add to add new version coming soon. Uh, okay, so this means that is calling Mobix yes, that Mobix content and Mobix not safety branch, and this branch is ready to use uh, not safety option, and we need that build runner because build runner uh, provides uh, code generation. Okay, build runner. Okay. I added Blade Runner. Okay, Blade Runner is coming. 
Yeah, I'm ready. What is problem with runner? Okay, just call. I'm right, any, and he's sold. Maybe a conflict issue in this in the dependency, but sometimes you just call. Uh, you just write any uh, flutter, flutter package. Uh, find how to work with together and write this uh, version in this here uh, or behind uh, backend site in project. Okay, uh, I'm ready. Mobix is ready, and we you know that I want. To, uh, I said uh, I just said. Uh, Dio package usage for network request and I'm called Dio. Okay, I'm ready. No, Dio. Oh shit, uh, we need that uh, JSON serializable option and I love JSON serializable. I call JSON serializable because uh, you know we need to parse. You need to parse when to your uh, network request has done, and is return JSON option, JSON data, and parse my model. And I love use I most use JSON serializable because uh, this uh, support not saved options, and uh, JSON serializable work with boot runner and. You just call uh, property JSON serializable property like work uh, Mobix code can. Okay, no, nah, no problem. JSON serializable. Yeah, it's done. And JSON uh, serializable with work with together JSON annotation. JSON annotation uh, work. Okay, wait, I will add. JSON annotation uh, we provide uh, many custom scenarios so your project maybe your uh, JSON string has error or bad name it you can just write JSON key and what you want in declare your variable and you can just JSON property uh, in uh, option wait uh, like this maybe filter name create no create uh, json name json uh, no no it's not, it's not true annotation any map generic no 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 wait i will see wait 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 i will see what is have it's okay what's the problem JSON annotation, JSON serializable, and JSON Mobix code YAN. Okay, I find was I found was uh, what was a problem, and uh, why doesn't work pops back YAML because JSON serializable new package uh, doesn't work with Mobix code YAN. You know that I said. Uh, just um, uh, five minutes ago, Mobix Code Gen uh, not support uh, official uh, not safety, and maybe this problem is coming, is ge getting this uh, station. Uh, station. So uh, just down JSON serializable version uh, to uh, four two zero four two zero. Uh, four zero two version and it's uh, work now. Okay, we're ready. Uh, always, uh, all project is ready for dependency and all package support, now safety support is ready in all all project. Okay, going to my project and I call. I love force that clean all main that dossier file and I call meta application tag uh, okay it's ready I'm just declare feature and 
core layer. I love core layer and uh, my many of my project is not a business code in core layer. Um, I think about this layer uh, have a just uh, non uh, business code. Okay, but uh, this project is a sample usage for Mobix and Tio. You you uh, you can have a uh, business code just this project only just project only. Okay, core layer and I call service and maybe uh, view maybe widgets atomic widgets is ready. We will write atomic widgets in this folder. Okay, feature what we have what we name. Feature JSON going JSON players and to those, yeah, to those. And what we have another comments, albums, yeah, yeah, okay. We use albums, it's different, okay. Albums just call albums and view albums, view darts, yeah, model and view model. Okay, we are going to declare uh, only first the Mobix layer, and we call uh, Mobix uh, Flutter yeah, albums Mobix Dart or V model Dart. Okay, and uh, I did uh, I was uh, uh, add extension with Mobix for Mobix in extension market you can use this snippet and it's best snippet on for mobix and i'm calling just mobix uh, snippet is uh, return to getting to base structure for mobix layer and i write uh, i writing albums with model yeah it's right uh, you have a you have a see uh, this uh, layer have a problem because doesn't work with runner watch now i call i uh, press this extension or call command shift p and with runner watch extension it's uh, maybe it's working for five minutes uh, per uh, many in 10 seconds and he call he work and call and generate your generation class you know you know that it's loading part is work little but small uh, happy wait is uh, waiting i will waiting it's complete is getting use your analyze for your project and uh, find a mob generate if you have a, any generation class and work uh, and have a, if if you have any generation class with runner generates on uh, on this class for your generation base model and with runner work with your base class and you see that Abyss view model G that is complete and with Mobix is done okay and we have a model declare model albums model darts okay what we have and uh, user id title and call class or maybe most usage i i, I was most using json placeholder but uh, no not json plus json to darts but JSON to that doesn't support now safety and is maybe doesn't to the right work. Just I take a uh, model variables and album model. Yeah, copy that code and I'm calling this layer. Yes, yeah, so you see that I have a problem because we know that if you your variable not initialized. Uh, if uh, optional or uh, maybe uh, have a pro have a variable uh, need value for initialized time okay 
I'm uh, remove this and no, I don't remove. I just add uh, relative closure, and uh, I know uh, I know that user ID, ID or title may be returned to null, and my if you write widget and for uh, if you write widget, you know that this user ID coming to null and you can just your business if your user ID null you maybe you see uh, empty widget to user okay but uh, I said I want to use JSON serializable and I call JSON serializable and you must be right parts albums model dot g dot, uh, dot g dot dart and it's best practice for generation layer and you see uh, I'll be using uh, albums model g that is completed and I will call just return from JSON no to JSON You just see uh, albums model to JSON when you using part. You know that part and part of just uh, see this class uh, related class. Uh, any class doesn't seem doesn't see this layer, and you just use this model class your option, and you call return or factory and you return albums albums from json and call json yeah it's work okay maybe you need the performance because uh, you need the uh, power your project must be used um, pedantic package uh, pedantic uh, provides your uh, static analysis for your project and you call pedantic package pops back yaml and write this here okay with runner and you call create uh, where, where, where? yeah analyze option yaml for your project ah no i forget yaml extension yaml Ah, sorry. Rename YAML, yeah. And call just include package pedantic options YAML and your project now check your code static code on it is your project ready to use. Okay, to JSON from JS is ready. Your model class is ready. And going to you need the service layer because you know that you have a service request okay is ready going to v model and just declare many uh, mobix option i said you need to have uh, one you need to have loading bar and your uh, fetch request is complete loading bar is closed you can just declare is bull is loading yeah is is very simple uh, but you need to observe but you need to uh, listen to change on widget you can just take layer uh, observable yeah uh, your boot runner you know that boot runner is broken you call again because your class has changed and you need new generation class new generation options your boot runner has provide a uh, work with uh, new option and write in model generator class wait why doesn't work wait runner watch i will call this command line so we go uh, we will go create view and import material kit and call status widget albums view yeah yeah and uh, you know that stateless widget have more power than uh, 
state will be uh, widget because you don't have any state option you don't have any state uh, variables and you know that uh, if you have any state your performance bigger than stateful widget uh, and your mobix or any uh, state management management widget um, uh, first uh, task first 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 uh, rule uh, first task uh, is provide your what chains and what notify your secret okay uh, going to the container and it's okay it's like uh, i call scaffold i write scaffold yeah and a bar you know most usage <laughs> widget and uh, body i want to call uh, just uh, circle progress now only now it now and i call my i write my emulator i open my emulator and we will show screen we will see screen what changes and i call main in main dot yeah uh, okay remove this line call albums view yeah uh, if you uh, want the beautiful import point you call fixed import and uh, your project uh, have a nice path nice import path option uh, and your you don't forget check fixed import in vs code yeah where is this fixed import Dart, huh, yeah, Dart import fixed on save. It will be checked. Your if you want to save this, uh, call the command s or any save, and you will fix uh, true point in class. Okay, my emulator is working, and I'm starting my project, and we will see this screen. So uh, going. Uh, my main idea is loading state has a change uh, is going to visible and called the new list view or any widget and I declare final uh, albums view model album uh, albums view model and albums view model maybe it doesn't need first type because based and now that uh, type you see that album V model and I'm waiting album V model is working and and my link on my phone simulator yeah it's done okay open my screen you see that is circle progress is loading and I call album V model that is loading is is it true yeah okay it's coming to circle progress indicator if you is loading false uh, okay return to maybe text okay and i call floating action button fab yeah and i declare function change loading and i call this cut is loading hmm. equal to other side yeah okay it's okay and i call albums v model if you user press this v model change loading yeah it's work and return my screen and refresh my a screen now is loading first what is this now where is this my code where is my code yeah first word is true okay i call again i'm press this button uh, you see that doesn't have a change the screen because i 
I forget two rules. First rule, if you change your observer property, your function have action uh, annotation because you see that uh, generation has uh, creates your own option and your view if you uh, need listen to change uh, and show change uh, station your widget your widget the wrap with observable so it's work on circle progress indicator and wrap with observable uh, it provides my a uh, snippet uh, i show uh, five minutes ago in uh, marketplace with scott and call observable yeah and i i write this business code is loading is true circle progress indicator if other state could return to text yeah date okay i will call and you see that it's work uh, you know that your widget is work in uh, just observable widget and as your screen call this uh, uh, your observable notify observable widget your observable variable notify to observable widget and your observable widget drop to new state onto screen uh, okay it's simple as but it's simple but is more important point if you want to change maybe this icon uh, in loading state you can just call observable option and you call uh, is loading maybe this code and call just icon like the icons at yeah you see that you call white it's the base color blue and you call background color colors red you see that now yeah circle progress and press and change this state it's very simple uh, and you easy to use easy uh, for using okay we ready uh but okay observable it's okay we model done we layer done we going to declare my service uh, i write always my service have a interface because i don't like uh, only service code and i call uh, service albums service yeah album service the name and call dart and i'm i declare interface and i album service and i write feature i will i know that return to lists no just only now list albums model but you know uh, this is a feature request and return feature uh, item because your request is going to website web service wait to complete this uh, request has done and return to data if you mean that you feature uh, need to feature and wait to new state new uh, complete no, no state okay fetch datas okay and I want to call. I I need the D option. Uh, what we have to use D O. Going to pop the D O, and you know you see that D O just use just need D O property option uh, or a D O instance. Yeah, may I I want the user um, send to D O instance because your class always uh, just uh, complete own business you class have a not uh, uh, static dependency is a problem because i have a dummy service i want to dummy service layer or test and uh, maybe change service process and if you write static this layer uh, do uh, instance i don't change uh, i don't change i couldn't change anything on the this class
so I call do instance uh, service maybe service no late create constructor and call package do yeah and return uh, I just write albums service class album service extend i album service yeah and implement and call super i will use the option and i call do final response do dot uh, service sorry i'm sorry do service dot get yeah you need that path but this path i will i know that i know a user uh, or screen give me do instance and have a base service url i just write uh, endpoint uh, what we endpoint album maybe albums not to do yeah albums albums I uh, actually I don't know I don't like this uh, usage I write enum class and uh, service path yeah and albums I write uh, album I writing albums and uh, I declare extension with service for service path I convert this uh, enum property to string and use this service path options and service pet extension on service pet yeah function probably like swift um swift enums have a row value options and i return string yeah and just call string getter property yeah with uh, and I declare switch case. I check this. If check service path dot albums return albums. No albums. Yeah. Okay. If you have any problem, I or I forgot uh, declare an unproperty and I call this. Uh, layer I declare custom exception and uh, service pet extension and uh, service pet exception sorry exception that and class I create any new class for implement um, exception layer and service uh, exception implement implement exception and override to string and doesn't found this uh, enum and I add data and I call constructor so uh, declare t yeah and return throw uh, service na 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 service based exception and return this yeah if you don't if you forget implement service pattern uh, your uh, layer your this class throw the exception and you know that hmm, I see I am forget this at this layer at this enum property and you can go uh, at new option and declare row options uh, will return to use secret service layer so call just call service pet that album start row value yeah it's like it's very simple and most uh, very useful uh, usage okay 
I I saw that we need we need await because this feature request and I'm going at feature. Okay. Page status and maybe return now uh, only and uh, now uh, empty list and I'm check my response response that status code and I implement HTTP status for that not okay it mean that uh, 2000 point and is okay and I will check final uh, response data and response that data it's a decodable uh, object and I will check this code response that data is list is list yeah if it is list I call this list uh, variables list extension this property you see that length or map and I will return return response data data dot map and I know that albums model uh, my Vexana package is aut uh, doing automatically this parser. You can just call, uh, you, you can just, I want to need albums model. Vexana has provide your uh, uh, work uh, doing your generic parser and you can uh, take uh, your model or list. Just call albums model and you will return your option your model layer okay from json and dot a and two lists and has done I, i'm first to map it and i convert albums model all item and i will return to list and this means that all json data is return is convert to albums and uh, cast it to list and is done Okay, face data is done. I'm going albums view model, and I need this layer is a service option, and I declare I want to I album service service. Yeah, construct. I added this constructor, not this this need, and I I need this and i want to use album v model i uh, will model saying need to service and i call album service he need to do options because uh, i use do and i call do and option do have options and you see that base option option no just write base option because it's uh, default parameter and I write base URL and I going to write base URL in this layer base URL you you know that uh, enum is variable type and have performance your application for more than class and you you know you will uh, you should use always uh, or sometimes uh, enum on project and call base URL yeah and I will call this okay remove this because have a option okay done I return. Uh, network root path nice pet pet wait fetch albums model where is my albums model huh. no it's a problem yeah it's here maybe uh, move to a new model new file because uh, should here only now 
I call base layer service pet. That is my option. Service pet. Yeah. Service pet base URL dot raw value. Yeah, it's done. Uh, your 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 service layer doesn't uh, have a depend items. Yeah, so me so you, this mean that you if you want to change maybe base URL or any models, your service layer uh, doesn't have a, any depend options and always you change uh, your service layer because your uh, service album service need to just the options and or uh, this work on uh, task and return data it's very important point always uh, use um, like dependency injection and you getting to use this dependence and you can work this with this you cite this okay so this layer okay well ah sorry that is html album service no is removed ha. coming to dartoyo yeah it's done it's done okay 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 albums view model is done and i'm going albums model albums view model and i write function uh, fetch datas and i know that he's notified new data to screen and i call first the change loading and uh, or i know first uh, show loading bar because it's loading uh, first time through and i didn't call this uh, i didn't need this and i call service that fetch data it's list return to list option and and i'm going to take layer albums list yeah and i know this change is important for uh, screen and i declare observable yeah albums list uh, and first option first initialize value uh, empty list okay is okay and face the task is call and album list equal to service return service data and I add a wait option. Yeah, it's uh, it's service request is done has done and I call change loading and my loading bar is going to background site or invisible state. Yeah, my option is ready and I call constructor and I call fetch data. If this layer have a create any time. Uh, has working call face data change screen and that's nice so going to albums view model and i call i remove this observable no i doesn't i didn't need this trap button okay i refresh my state it's going to call service and this, you see that change your data change the degree you it's mean that your data is come uh, it's you your hand and i call list i write list view builder because you know list view builder have a performance like recycler view return a view model that is my view model albums view model and album list index you is uh, albums model i call cart only just cart and uh, my vs got slowly yeah it's done i just write this tile and i declare my model dot title and wrap text yeah it's uh, say that maybe he's going to return to uh, null if you return to null 
uh, this show empty string this screen okay yeah you know so you see that uh, your screen is done and you don't didn't uh, forget maybe must be have must be uh, declare your item counts and item v model length uh, count I'm uh, sorry album this and count yeah okay your state has done and return data it's ready it's okay you see that all hot reload your uh, stream again uh, draw because status widget is work uh, is working uh, manage working uh, article is that is uh, if you want to just call uh, first time and you don't need uh, all hot reload you can write this layer but the other class didn't uh, must um, haven't to see this lay option and you call private option maybe like file private and didn't uh, any class uh, didn't see uh, this variable and you call just albums we model yeah your widget has ready and maybe you write uh, album Cart start emp stateless album cart. I want to need final album model model. Yeah, I want to construct in constructor and need required. And I write this. I draw this widget and I call just model that title. Yeah. And I write albums v model and album list dot index. Yeah, it's very simple. And parameter what parameter model. Model. Yeah and must be if you are process has done you must be extract method and your widget tray is uh, seeing the beautiful we are seeing the beautiful and with this view and build circle of progress indicator yeah it's mobix has done uh, maybe don't forget mobix have uh, one more option it's competed. Competed is mean your screen or uh, any observable options, uh, listen to observable options, and you re will return to a uh, new state. It's mean that maybe, uh, what is maybe you have an uh, integer. I often this uh, usage observable and uh, no, uh, current index. Uh, default value is zero and is is mean observable and you want to need your uh, variable is odd or is odd check this odd and I declare competent property it's competent work with uh, observable property and uh, uh, string is odd index value and I will check uh, if you want to declare complete property we, me, you need to you should need the getter option and current index is odd or is even yeah return is even or is odd is odd if is odd return odd or even yeah and you use the screen return to screen and your app bar title and need to text and wrap with widgets now where is my observable yeah and observable and you call the model 
and where is my odd index value now even but if any data has changed uh, this variable and i call in this view but i need to this view index value has uh, will ch will be changed this property and albums we model uh, current index equal index or i declare a new function function uh, uh, change no change index integer index and current index equal to new index i i know that is need the action and call new state this screen and return my screen and i'm just call uh, change index and current index is okay yeah it's ready uh, maybe you should return error because your list view builder always drove to new screen and your uh, screen has changed for uh, maybe uh, they change for a new state you just call uh, change you're going to change index where is my change index where where where, where? yeah it's ready you can just write widget binding instance at post frame callback and it means that your screen draw has completed is working and call this screen and you instance maybe check uh, got maybe check and uh, not check but doesn't need now and you see that not problem and your data has changed for your computed value okay mobix <laughs> has done uh, you see uh, mobix is very easy and your uh, application states have a good power for uh, with mobix for mobix uh, design uh, i love this uh, and my many projects using this uh, layer uh, and uh, i created i love i created this pattern and i have a up and we be on i have a flutter architecture template and my template create uh, for with mobix if you want to see you you look this code and maybe provides your provides you uh, this project have a architecture uh, video series but support only turkish maybe i will add uh, english support next time okay i'm i'm done uh, and we will learn we, we learned how to use mobix and how to increment how to add on business project mobix uh, property uh, observable look like computed like uh, action and you see uh, very useful and very easy um, pattern maybe provides your project and uh, your project going to uh, good uh, have a good uh, coding thank you thank for thank you for for watching we will uh, see next videos goodbye and your project always going to good, I hope. I forget at GitHub in this project. I all have, I image it, I add new project, image it in my GitHub and git initialize. I love that uh, this uh, using add dot g dot because I don't need, I don't see generation class on my repository, and I add ignore all generation class and git commit x and mobix pattern has done. Uh, git add, yeah, git commit, and get happy repo creates mobix not safety. Yes, 
git push x to origin master. Yeah, as, as done now. Thanks, thank you, thank you. We will see you next videos. Goodbye.